Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video from the news playlist. In this video, we'll work on the bookmark screen and we'll finish that. So let's go to the presentation layer and let's create a new package here called this bookmark. And right click on this, let's create a bookmark view model. Let's set up this view model. Let's inject the new use cases. Now we want to create the new use cases for our DAO. So let's go to the domain layer, use cases, and here let's create the first use case, which is upsert article. In here, we want to get the DAO. And let's create suspend operator option uh, operator function. Call this invoke. And here we're going to get the article. And we're going to, to call news dow.upsert. We can pass the article. Let's create a new one to delete the article. So delete article. I'm gonna go back here, gonna copy this part, gonna paste it in here, and this time I'm gonna call delete. And I'm gonna create another use case to select the articles. So select article or articles, and I'm gonna paste the same part, but this time we are returning flow list of articles. And we can just return select or get articles. We can call return. Now let's go to the new use cases and we want to add this, the new use cases we just created. Upsert article, delete article, and select articles. We can go to the app module in our DI package and we need also to create objects for these new use cases. And here we also need to get DAO, so news DAO. And we provided that in the last video, so no need to provide it again. And we just can pass the select articles use case. Okay, that's fine. Now let's get back to the bookmark view model. And here we want to have our state. Let's actually create a state in our bookmark package. Let's call this bookmark state. Let's select data class. And in here, we're only going to have the articles, which is a list of article. And let's make this into list. Get back to the view model. Let's create that state. Private, uh, private val state, mutable state of, and we can call bookmark state. Let's expose, let's expose a public uh, version of the state and let's cast this to state bookmark state. Now we want to create a function to retrieve these articles so we can just make private function get articles and we can say news use cases dot get or uh, select articles. In here we can call on each i don't know did we make this suspend we should remove suspend from here and now we need to pass okay we also need to remove the article here it's not used okay now we can say state dot value equals to state dot value we take a copy of that and we change the articles to it and then we need to collect this. We can say a launch in view model scope. And don't forget to also call that in the, in the block. We can say get articles. Okay, that's it for this view model. And now let's create the screen. So new class or file. Let's call this bookmark screen. 
create composable function for this. And here we want to get the state. And we also have navigate that is string here, the unit. And let's create a colon. Let's pass the modifier here. Fill max width. Or let's make this fill max size. We're going to add status bars padding. And we want to add padding. Uh, let's just put that into new lines. From the top, medium padding 1. From the start, medium padding 1. From the end, medium padding 1. And now let's add the bookmark text. So that would be bookmark. The style here would be display medium. We need to change the font weight to bold. And we also need to change the color here to text title. Okay, now let's add spacer. Medium padding one. Now we want to add our articles list, but if you go to our articles list, composable file, uh, then you can see that we only receive lazy paging items, but what we get from room database is only list of articles. Um, so what we can do here is just to copy this and we're gonna just overload this function. Let's here replace this by list and we don't need this anymore. Then let's remove this check and here the items would be our articles dot size then this won't be null actually so let's remove this list and we can say val article equals to this we can pass this article here and when we click we also pass that article uh, one thing is i can see that we have not passed this modifier here so let's do it here as well seems like we forgot to do that now let's get back to the bookmark screen and we can call the articles list and we can choose the one that comes with this parameters now let's pass now let's pass state dot articles when you click we want to navigate to the details screen so we can say navigate route dot um route dot details screen dot route and that's it for the bookmark screen let's go to our navigraph to preview that so in here let's call bookmark screen that's it. Let's first get the bookmark view model here. Let's pass the state here. And navigate. Let's keep that empty for now. Let's launch the app to preview that. And as you can see, here's the screen. This is the article that we saved in the last video. Okay, so that was all for this video. In the next video, we will finish this playlist and we will just implement the navigations between the screens and the news navigator screen. And yeah, so we will actually finish this playlist in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you have a great day. Catch you in the last video.